What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Supreme, and you are now tuned in to The Real Rap Show, and this is episode 34 of The Real Rap Show, The Real Reason NCAA Youngboy Was Killed. Now, before we get this episode started, I would like to say thank you to all the new subscribers, everyone who has been tuning in to The Real Rap Show since day one, everyone in the comment section, and also everyone who has been giving me great feedback about the show. Now let's get this started. NCAA Youngboy is from Union Springs, Alabama. In 2019, he started to go viral on Instagram, mocking and recreating photos and videos of the rapper NBA Youngboy, and says he is NBA Youngboy's biggest fan. And being that NCAA Youngboy looked exactly like NBA Youngboy, NBA Youngboy himself knew about NCAA from people on Instagram reposting his stuff and constantly tagging him in his stuff. NBA Youngboy knew about him. Now, a lot of people thought that NBA Youngboy was going to take this as some sort of disrespect because NCAA was dressing like him and he was mocking all of his videos and dancing like him and had his hair like his. But like I said, NBA Youngboy didn't take it to be disrespectful. NBA Youngboy looked at it like, this guy looks exactly like me. And he's like, he's one of my biggest fans, you know. So a lot of the people from the NBA camp was reaching out to NCAA, you know, paying homage to him for paying homage to NBA Youngboy. But NCAA Youngboy wasn't a rapper in the beginning. It kind of made sense that he should start making his own music because he now had a large following on Instagram and YouTube. But stardom really struck for NCAA Youngboy when the famous Instagram blog site, The Shade Room, reposted one of his videos. Now let's be clear, hit that like button y'all. NCAA Youngboy is still a kid. This kid posed no threat to anyone. I saw one gun in a rap video of his and I honestly think he was only doing it because it's what NBA Youngboy does in his videos. I don't even think Shorty was down with any gangs or anything like that. He had found his niche and he was using that to help build his character. He was an Instagram comedian. He wasn't on social media acting tough, flashing weapons and money around a bunch of girls. There was nothing going on in Alabama at all. NCAA Youngboy had found a creative way to maybe get his family out of Alabama. It doesn't matter if he was copycatting someone else. Half the people in the rap game today are copycatting other people, and they made it. So I don't see nothing wrong with his way of one day getting his family out the hood. Tear those comments up. If you from the 334, I want to hear from y'all. What do y'all got to say about this? Is Alabama tuned in? On January 28th, Alabama police discovered a body in the woods who they found out to be 21-year-old NCAA Youngboy, a.k.a. 334 Lil Peanut. Days later, Alabama police arrest three people and charge them with the murder of Lil Peanut. Now get in those comments and hit that like button because we about to get deep. I want to say this. To the families of the individuals responsible for this, because y'all can see me right now, they can't. I want to say this to the families. Your loved ones is where they need to be right now. They belong in a cage. Them dudes was not fit to be on the streets. And honestly, I hope they are in jail having a hard time. And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I hope that them dudes get found guilty. Because once again, this is who y'all brought into the world. And if this is the kind of people they were, we can just imagine who you are. A house full of alcoholics and crackheads who is too high and drunk to teach your kids anything. I don't blame them killers, man. I blame the parents. I blame the big brothers, the uncles, the OGs. Y'all is who sending these young dudes to prison. Because at home, they aren't being raised right. And once again, I'm glad they locked up. Y'all can go visit them dudes in jail. Peanut family got to go to the cemetery to talk to him. You know, it's sad to say, but the dudes that did this to NCAA Youngboy, 
them dudes felt like he wasn't being authentic. They felt like he was perpetrating a fraud. In their hating ass minds, they felt like, why are you trying to blow up off of somebody who already blew up? Why are you trying to be somebody you not? They looked at him as being fake. It's real out here and you faking it and you gaining popularity off that. We out here trying to carry guns and impress these girls and look tough. And you taking our popularity by acting like another rapper? Why you can't be yourself? Oh, you making us look bad because you capping. Oh, look how many followers he got on Instagram. Look at all the girls in the comments. He getting YouTube money. He got a new chain, a new watch, etc., etc. That's what got NCAA Youngboy killed. Hate and jealousy. He's about to blow up and we still going to be standing out here. And this is how y'all react to someone who may have been the next person to open the doors to the game for Alabama. Y'all people who did this to all that was involved, you're a disgrace. And the families behind y'all is a disgrace. Period. Alabama, y'all looking bad out there. Nas spoke about y'all dudes today. And y'all is a bunch of pessimistic, mind state, lack of hope, low spirit motherfuckers. And I say this all the time about these young dudes today. Y'all dudes out here it's wasting time to take somebody else's life. But what about your own life? You're going to take somebody else's life, get caught for it, and go to jail for the rest of your life and have to deal with that? Y'all is comfortable with that? Now, in the last live video that NCAA Youngboy did, when I saw that video, I started to read the comments. And I became more concerned with what the people were saying in the comments than actually watching NCAA Youngboy in his live video. No disrespect to him. But as I was reading those comments, I was saying to myself, these are people that is angry that it's starting to look like he's about to become somebody. These are people that is angry that this young man is doing something creative with himself. There were people in the comments putting up the clown face, saying that he was a clown for doing what he was doing. There were people in the comments writing he was a goofy. There were also people in the comments making threats to him. And I said the individuals that did this to him were probably in those comments. Now, I never saw him say this or post anything like this, but people were saying that NCAA Youngboy knew something was going to happen to him. And I would believe that just off of the comments that I saw in the live video, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of the stuff or all of the stuff that NCAA Youngboy posted to his social media, there were people making threats to him. And comes to find out that the people that did this to NCAA Youngboy was people that he knew. That's right, y'all. This was people that he considered friends that lured him somewhere or picked him up, I'm not sure, but set up to rob him. And I guess NCAA Youngboy got wherever these dudes had took him, and he said, I'm not letting y'all dudes rob me. I know y'all. So they felt like, yo, we got to do something to this dude fatally because if we let him get away with this, he might go back and tell or he may go back and make a song about it, even though it made no sense. They got no real money out of it. It was stupid. That's why I say they belong in a cage, period. It made no sense. They killed Peanut for what? So if Alabama is in here right now, please tell me because I want to know, is this how the real dudes in Alabama is giving it up? Y'all killing comedians? I mean, is this the kind of time y'all on where when somebody in Alabama starts to make a name for themselves and try to make y'all look good out there in Alabama because it looked bad enough. Like I said, when somebody try to make y'all look good, y'all got to come up and smoke the person because y'all feel like, yo, we don't want nobody good coming out of Alabama. You know, Alabama is the fifth poorest state in the entire country. And y'all just proved that to us. Y'all killing the young generation out there before they even get to the bag. And real talk, this is exactly why Alabama is going to remain the fifth 
poorest state in the entire country. Y'all are going to forever stay like that. Rest in peace to NCAA Youngboy, a.k.a. 334 Lil Peanut. It's your man Supreme. Thanks for tuning in to The Real Rap Show. And this was episode 34 of The Real Rap Show. The real reason NCAA Youngboy was killed. Don't forget to follow The Real Rap Show on Instagram at It's The Real Rap Show. Y'all stay safe out there. Real rap.